Let's create a spread for the second week of October. Stay tuned. Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel, Planning Serenity, where we plan for serenity. My name is Jessica, and as mentioned, we are doing a spread for the second week of October. Absolutely insane that I'm saying that, but here we find ourselves. So if you are new here, I appreciate you clicking on my video and stopping by. If you're turning, you absolutely already know how I feel about you. I genuinely appreciate y'all coming back day after day after day after day. Um, so yeah, if you are new here, um, what you see me doing here is covering up what I'm not going to use in the template that comes in the Hello Gorgeous Volume 2 Planner by Luxbook over at Chris, well, over, by Kristen over at Luxbook. Um, quite a few have asked me if she will be coming out with a, hold on, because I don't know exactly what I want to do here. <laughs> if she'll be coming out with, here, let's put it to that line so I know that there's enough space and then we may cover it after. Um, if she's coming out with a 2024 planner. All right, so y'all. Um, if you're new here, the last time I used this template, I have so many issues with the I hyperlinks, but I think I figured it out, although you just saw me make a mistake. Um, anyways, what you have to do is click on the outside edges and you'll be good to go. Um, but by, by no means am I an affiliate of Kristen's. Where did that blank? Okay. But oh, here we go at my work. It's late and how rude, how rude. Um... By no means am I an affiliate of Kristen's. Um, Y'all often seem to think I am because I talk about her often. I use her stickers in pretty much, well, 99% of my spreads. Um, so I just to reiterate, I am not an affiliate of hers. She more than likely does not know that I exist. Uh, well, that's a lie. She knows I exist um, because um, we've chatted in the separate uh, Discord group that me and a couple other ladies are in with her. Um, but we have not heard from her for a while, so we do hope all is well. Um, yeah, we haven't heard from her a while, from a while, so I don't know if she's like underground prepping to release her 2024 planner um, or not. But, all right, what did I just say? I said I was going to leave this there. Okay, sorry, y'all. See, this is what happens when I talk. Um, I don't know if she's releasing a 2024 planner or not. Um, but this is an undated planner. It's the Hello Gorgeous Volume 2. It is undated. So even if she does not release a planner, um, I am perfectly fine using this one again. Y'all know I'm obsessed with that bad, bottom black line. So um, I'll be good to go. All right. So if you are new here, um, I insert my stickers into a digital sticker book <laughs> that Kristen actually provides. Um so what you see me doing here is using my main sticker book. Before I start planning with you all, I just go through and favorite sticker sheets that I think I want to use. Um, so as y'all saw in the um, thumbnail, you probably saw this skull, which was the basis of this spread. Also, y'all know I have been doing a lot of landscapes lately, so I kind of want to go back to like my original style of planning because... Um, I don't want to call it like a brain fart, but like, I don't know, like I, I, I need like a palette cleanser kind of sort of, I guess you can say, um, of the landscapes. So I'm going to go back to what I started with my digital planning journey in, what was it like June or July y'all? All right. I think we are going to cover this line cause it's going to bother me. Um, so yeah, uh, the oopsies. Um, so I'm kind of going to incorporate like my new planning style, not really lands, I mean, not really scenes, but, um, kind of sort of my new planning style with my old planning style. Um, and I don't want to say old because I really just started digital planning. So it's like, um, I'm still finding my way. Okay. Let's see. All right. So the stickers that I'm using are by Vicky over at Calypso Creative Planning on Instagram or Calypso Planning on Etsy. I always have the shops that I'm using down below. Um, I have a trillion of her sticker books. This is the, what is this? This is the Peony Promises decorative, uh, I believe it's the decorative sticker book. However, I have her functional sticker book as well as her um, accessory sticker book for the Peony Promises collection. Um, if you are new to, sorry, I'm like talking and can't. Um, if you're new to, um, I, I'm like I said, I favorite sheets and then I just go, I I 
I go as I plan as we go along. Um, so I'm just figuring things out as we go. Anyways, um, if you're new to Vicky stickers, um, um, she, she really, she based, she mainly comes out with collections and, um, each collection has several different sticker books included in it. Um, she actually recently just came out with a quarter four planner system that is absolutely insane. Like absolutely insane. Like if I wasn't obsessed with my vertical, my digital vertical planner by Luxbook, um, I probably would get her modern planner that came out with this release. Um, but um, yeah, if y'all are interested, head over to her Etsy and check out her new release because it's literally insane. Um, and y'all have probably seen me on Instagram reposting quite a few of um, ladies that use her new planning system. Um, so yeah, be sure to uh, go ahead over there and check her out. So obviously October, Halloween, and I've been doing a lot of Halloween spreads, like with like actual Halloween, like, you know, stuff, but I wanted to switch it up a little bit because I literally just realized that it's, um, breast cancer awareness month. And, um, if you're new here, you would not know this. If you're turning, you do, but my mother passed away three years ago, um, not from breast cancer, but from pancreatic cancer. Either way, F cancer. <laughs> um, so I, you know, want it, I think it's perfect to have a palette cleanser in my planner. Um, so if you do not know, I will be printing my planner coffee table style at um, the end of the year. Um, and I've been doing a lot of fall spreads. So I just want to switch it up and I think, oopsies, I think it'll be cool like I'm flipping through the pages to see this palette cleanser in October um, because, you know, pink for breast cancer awareness, um, but we're also keeping it, you know, moody and dark like I like it. Um, and then, you know, not moody and dark like I like it. Moody editorial is what I like, but moody and, you know, dark for like Halloween or whatever. Okay. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're cropping this because I think I want to use it as a header. I want to keep some of these green leaves and, and not as a header. Let me rephrase. I just want to line it up up here, basically. Um, what was I saying? I think I was saying something before I cut myself off, but of course I'm not going to remember. Um, so if you're new here, I am a recovering alcoholic, three years sober. Um, and oftentimes if I cut myself off or like start talking about something different in the middle of talking about something else, I will have no idea what I was talking about. So that just happened. Um, anyways, we're just, cro I just cropped this sticker and I'm going to put it up there as like a separation, I guess you can say. Um, apologies if you can hear my kiddos in the background. Um, you know, when I'm filming, it's their alone time with daddy. So <laughs> they have a blast and they're super loud. So yeah, if you're new here, that's what that is. Okay. All right, so Peony Promises, my favorite collection of Vickies. Let's see, all right, I think I'm gonna throw my dummy text on now. <clears throat> so if you're new here, I use dummy text that Kristen provides in her freebie vault. However, I always keep it on a, um, a blank page in the spread that I'm planning after. Um, and it's in all different sizes, basically. Um, her dummy text is called Lorem Ipsum. It is, I mean, it's actually the dummy text that um, most designers use. Um, but yes, yeah, she has it as a freebie in her freebie bolt. However, like I said, I just keep it here sized different ways to make it easier to grab because in her freebie vault, obviously it's on one page sized one way. Um, and since I'm in my oopsies, I just said you have to press on the outside. Since I'm in my planner all day, every day, um, it makes it easier to do it like this. All right. So I'm just going to paste these lining up the blue line with that line in the bottom just to make sure, oopsies, here we do it. I'm doing it every single time after telling y'all what to do. Um, just to make sure that they're all even. Okay, tap out. So we're just gonna put these down for each day. And if you're new here, I um, this is my catch-all planner. Probably didn't mention that, sorry. Um, this is my catch-all planner. And what I do for each, just, I'm just trying to make sure it's, what I do for each day of the week, uh, ooh, that's not gonna work. Okay, so what we need to do is, we need to resize this, bring it down a lot more. That's why I should have kept that black line there, just so that the sizing is the same on all of them. 
So we are gonna keep the black line there and then we're gonna resize this with the black line just to make sure we can um, have the, oopsies, have the text spaced out correctly. And it looks like I'm gonna have to make that skull a little bit smaller, which is fine. Um, all right, so let's make the skull smaller and then we will re, oh, we'll probably still have to make it smaller. Um, let me turn images off, which it is, and then I'll just grab this text, delete it, and then we will paste it again. Ooh, I didn't click in the link somehow, some way. Paste it again right on that bottom line, that bottom black line, so it's the same space as the others. Okay, now we have that, and now we do have to resize the skull or just move it over. What I'm trying to do is put it on this gold corner just so it, you know, doesn't look weird. So we'll just move it over just like that. Okay, now let's pay oopsies on the outside. Um, okay, so back to what I was saying. Um, I, for my catch-all planner, I always, this is tiny journaling down here. So speaking of Vicky over at Calypso Planning um, or Calyp Calypso Creative Planning, um, tiny journaling is something that I got from her. It's basically one or two sentences. This paragraph right here, it's one or two sentences of journaling a day. It takes the daunting task of like, I don't know, like I feel like original, not original journaling, journaling, but like when you think of journaling in my head, I think of like, you know, like a whole page, like an, an, an or a paragraph and ain't nobody got time for that every day. But at the same time, I like want to like journaling is healthy, especially being in recovery. Um, so when I saw her doing tiny journaling, I was just like, OMG. Um, and these are by Ashley Digital Studio. Let's, I think I'm going to grab this. It's on time to make the magic happen. Um, but when I saw her doing tiny journaling, I was just like, oh my gosh, like I have to. And I think although this time to make the magic happen is overlapping this stripe, as long as I put it in the white, hold on, I don't know how we're going to center this. <laughs> as long as I put it in the white, um, it looks perfectly fine and you can see it. And I actually like that, you know, editorial aspect. All right. So we'll throw that there. Um, but Vicky does tiny journaling on her monthlies. Um, and then as you can see, I do them on my weeklies. Um, but yeah, she does them on her monthlies and they come out so beautiful. So if you're interested in seeing what tiny journaling would look like on like a monthly spread, be sure to head over to her page and check that out. Um, and she also uses a horizontal planner. As you can see, I use vertical. Um, so yeah, something different if you're interested in seeing what that would look like or you're curious about digital planning, don't know if you want to start, all that good stuff. Um, I think I'm, this, these are by Vicky as well. Um, wow, I think, am I using all of her stickers? No, I think I favorited some other stuff. Um, I'm just throwing this up here. I absolutely love it, like love it. I've used it maybe twice, maybe three times before. Shout out to digital planning because you can reuse stickers. <laughs> no shade to my paper girlies, no shade because I once was one, as y'all can see, because those videos are still up. I'm just gonna throw that there. I think that's cute. Um, Let's see, all right. Oh, and that's tiny journaling. And then this top part is like a list. I don't like calling it a to-do list, um, but it's a list of things that I need to get done. Um, so that's what that is for each day. While we're here, I'm gonna grab Badani, probably bump it up. Boom, I don't know how big, let's see. Maybe 20, oopsies. Um, what's the first day of next week, nine? Did my key, I was about to say, did my gosh darn keyboard die? All right, I think that's a good size. So we're gonna save that as a default. And then we're just gonna line that up right there. I'm right, I'm lining the bottom of the bubble up with that basically. I don't, y'all see what I'm doing. All right, so it's oopsies, 10. Line that bubble up right under there. And then we have 11. Line the bubble up. And again, I'm just doing that just to make sure that they're all even and the spacing is the same. Y'all have seen another example of making sure spacing is the same by drawing a straight line. Well, drawing a line with the pen and letting GoodNotes straighten it out for you because, <laughs> you know. Um, but this is another way, just making sure that each section, you're lining it up at the same exact point as the others. So we're just doing bottom bubble, as you can see. All right, so those are all the days of next week. Well, all the dates for next week. And then we have all of our dummy text. 
down, I think. Okay. So now let's see. I don't know if I have any other stickers. Okay. So this is also a part of the Peony Promises collection. This is actually the accessory um, sticker book though. Um, tons of other accessories in this sticker book, but I favorited it because I wanted to grab one of these pens. Um, because I don't do split screen, it's kind of hard to see what colors is going to match. Let's grab this. Oopsies. Let's grab this one and see because it's black. Um, it should be the best. Yeah, I think that'll go. Um, when I'm not planning on camera or like when I'm in my planner off camera, um, obviously I do split screen, drag and drop stickers, all that good stuff. As mentioned, I'm probably going to have to get like two planners printed at the end of the year because, you know, there are spreads that I create or work on off camera that are personal, like more specifically, as y'all see my faith planner um i don't really do many of those spreads anymore because those are personal um but yeah just as a side all right so these this is my lux book digital sticker book again i imported oopsies i don't know if i just changed the sizing of that i guess it doesn't matter again i imported all of my sticker books into the two dollars and fifty cents digital sticker book by lux book oh that's probably what i was saying when i cut myself off i think i want to throw this down here just as another editorial aspect um, make it a little bit smaller and yeah um so I keep all of Lux books um oh, well all of Kristen's stickers in a separate sticker book because I have over 20 of her um digital sticker kits um yeah and my 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 iPad will shut down if I wouldn't do so <laughs> um all right so I don't know if this is centered but that's good for now all right, that's, what else do I want from Lux book? I don't know, did I favorite anything else? Okay, something on here. Oh, uh, y'all know I love typewriter quotes um, or type typewriter text quotes, I guess you can say. This just says another day, another chance. And as always, like I said, throwing back to my roots of a couple months ago when I first started digital planning, throwing stuff along the side. Um, that's just what I'm gonna do here. So another day, another chance, that's cute. I don't know exactly how I want this pen, but I don't typically use them um, on these type of spreads. I use them in my uh, my daughter's section of my planner, um, but I don't know, I think it'll be cute here. Okay, let's go back. I think that was it from Lux Book. Um, I have these favorited. I don't know if they're from Pretty Girl Plans or not. I think they are. Um, but I got them when I first started planning. As you can see, they are very similar to um, Kristen's style, like the editorial type of stickers, um, which is why I got them again when I first started planning. Um, but I'm grabbing this priority because there's something really important due on the 15th. Um, if y'all watch my budgeting videos, you will know, um, but I have to do a redetermination for something and it's due on the 15th, but I wanna start working with, well, I want to work on it and submit it by Wednesday just in case there's any changes or anything else that's going to be needed because the 15th is a Saturday. So anything that needs to be done is going to be need need to be done by Friday close of business because it is government related. Um, okay, so yeah, there's that. So priority, I'm just throwing that there. And I guess we can grab this weekend one just to offset weekend, baby. Now, I had this debate a while ago. In my head, weekends definitely start on a Friday, but I don't know if I want these lined up. And in that case, I would, let's see, a little bit smaller. In that case, I'll probably change the priority to um, Tuesday. No, because that'll look funny up there. So we can put it there. I mean, obviously it's on top of Saturday, but it can relate to, um, <laughs> it can relate to Friday. And then priority, we'll do, we'll do it like that. So weekend baby, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, obviously. And then priority Tuesday is when I'll start working on it anyway. And then Wednesday, blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay. So that's cute. All right. I did favorite. Um, I think these are by the same don't get me to lying. I, as always, I have it down below in the description where my stickers come from. Um, but I saw this gold, oh, perfect. I was scared for a second that it was gonna be a white outline. Um, and I kind of just wanna highlight, since we have like gold down here, now that I think about it, Calypso, and I have her Peony Promises functional sticker book as well. And there's definitely some, um, there's definitely some sparkly gold foil 
borders in there, but y'all know I'm not typically a sparkle girl. So now that I think about it, we'll just use this. As you can see, I'm just trying to straighten it. It'll be a lot easier um, if slash when I zoom in off camera. <laughs> Um, I just don't want to put fingerprints on it and all that good stuff. Ooh, I think that's it. All right, so let's put one over here. This will also determine if they are the same size. Awesome, I think they are. Yep, I think the black stickers are the same size. All right, um, so if y'all follow me on Instagram at Planning Serenity, you will notice that this spread has turned out to be a lot similar to like what my old, not old, what I started off digital planning, um, that style. So I'm really liking this, like really, really, really liking this. I'm liking taking a break from creating scenes. Um, they are cute, but I also like, you know, decorative, functional, moody, editorial type of planning. Um, but honestly, I think that's gonna be it for this spread. I was thinking about adding something over here, but I wanna keep it as is and just let the, you know, the skull be the, the what's it called the showcase of the spread <laughs> if you're new here and you made it to the end of this video please drop a pink flower in the comments i know it's fall but please drop a pink flower in the comments just so i know that you're new you made it to the end and you like what you're seeing if you do like what you're seeing a like and subscribe would be absolutely awesome if you're returning you absolutely already know how i feel about you but let's see, drop a pink heart in the comments just so I know that you're listening, you're not going anywhere, and I will see all of y'all in tomorrow's video.